Here we have a crest moving along a medium. It's fixed at each end, so it flips inverted. Does the medium actually move parallel to the wave motion? Let's slow it down and take a look. Look at the medium here. It's going up. And now it's coming down. It never moves sideways, only up and down. That's a transverse wave. Now we have a continuous wave, but it's only fixed in time. It is not moving. There's an identical wave. What if these two waves were one on top of the other? You would get a resultant larger wave. Now we'll have this wave move to the right, and this wave move to the left. What happens if they're on top of each other? Oh, at some point, they cancel out. And then at other points, they reinforce. So this is the idea of how two separate waves moving in opposite directions can create a standing wave. It looks like this wave isn't going anywhere, but it actually is composed of two separate waves moving through each other in opposite directions. I have the original wave moving to the right, but now the second wave is larger, moving to the left. And there's the sum of the two waves. Here's another example. I have the first wave moving to the right. Now that second wave looks like it did before, but the frequency is just a little bit different. Now it may look like the medium is actually moving sideways, but it isn't. Overlapping waves can generate some pretty crazy patterns. That's that wave and that wave passing through each other. So adding these waves is all about the superposition principle and constructive and destructive interference.